I'm back at the same house. You've seen it a bunch now. I can't give up. I got my, got it popped out. It was a uh, high 80s, 90s. Is that it? Let me brush this off and let's see what that is. That's it. It reads 90 to 92. High tone. There is nothing on it. So, about the only way to figure out what it's, and it's rusted. Should I snap it in half? I don't know, it's got some glistening on it. Let me clean it up a little bit more. Not, a, it's kind of a high tone. Not very deep, but I can't. I gotta see, let's look together, you want to? Stop doing that extraness. Okay, it's right here. I mean like absolutely perfectly. Now it's gone. Now it's gone. I'm having pinpointer difficulties. No matter what the pinpointer. Everything except that land and sea one. Oh, I hope I didn't just bend that. I see it. Bend it. I <laughs> slap broke it. No, I didn't break it. It's a folded up. It's like a copper spoon. And it says words on it. How oh, neat, huh? Let me clean up, see if we can read it. I can't read it, even with my magnifying glass. But if this thing was gold, it had a like gold gild on it, is that what you call it, when it's got a little gold flavor all over it? Kind of a decorative looking spoon. The little Johnny asked mommy if he could go out in the yard and dig a hole with one of her good spoons. Then he lost it. I got it, Johnny. Same hole, kind of, but right next to it. Well, okay. Same hole, really. There must be more of it in there. Let me dig a little bit. It's in here. It was a high tone. Look at that. It's a nice metal milk cap. I like it. I got a shallow 50s right by this magnolia tree and look at that. It is a head stamp. Yeah, I love them, the head stamps. Let's clean up see what it says. UMC Co. 12 gauge with the star in the middle. Late 1800s, early, early, early 1900s. Awesome, isn't it? I love these things. I just dug a hole right here. Real strong high tone signal. Kind of deep, didn't realize it, but it went all in the hole, never found my sound. And as I was covering my hole back up, I'm looking around, there's a pod right there that I forgot to put back in the hole. And there is a coin in it. Oh, this dog next door really grieves me that is a wheat let me clean it up we'll see what the date is oh my goodness there it is 1944 it is a wheat i like it there's got to be a piece of silver in this yard right gotta be other than that silver spoon i think that spoon was silver I'll put it in the man purse and move along. Still a little snow falling off the roof. 
Look at this. That is a big old square now. I like it. I don't know if I've ever found one that big before. Although they may have been that big when I found them, but they've been in the ground so long that they, uh, oops, it's not your turn. But they've been in the ground so long they kind of deteriorate and get skinny. I like it. I went back over this same hole where I just pulled that nail out that I started to cover back up. And I knew I had a high tone in there, and there it is. I just wrote it off as, sometimes the AT Pro will ring a high tone, really high tone. I mean, a reasonable one, 80s and 90s, and it'll be iron. But this is a piece of aluminum with a little hole on the end. Let me brush it off, see if it says anything on it. No, it doesn't. I don't know what that could have been. It's pretty neat. If I seem like I'm not in the zone today, my bride called me and we had just got a little kitten. I don't know if I ever even put that little kitten on a video yet. But my older cat, the one we've had, we've had him probably six years. He walked up, like all our animals, just walked up. And uh, now he's six years old. This was the kitten, the cat. My first cat. I mean, not my first cat, but anyway. And he would play and play and play and go crazy. And then he started getting older and started losing his groove and wanting to lay around more. So this kitten walks up and we kept it. This little girl kitten. My big cat's a boy. Had it about a month. And they play and play and play and had a blast. So my bride got home today and somebody ran over it. Oh my goodness, she was upset. It bothered me too. So, I buried it. So I'm sitting here worried about her. And she's fine. We, we hung out a long time together. But it bothered me as bad as it did her. But it would actually sit and cuddle. Cuddle with you. And my big boy cat, I'd kind of turned it into a half dog. And it wouldn't cuddle. It always wanted to play and wrestle. So, she was glad to have a happy little female kitty to cuddle. So, anyway. I was still having a good time detecting. But, uh. We've been in touch. Everything's good. It's our little girl's birthday today. Geronimo's birthday is today. Can't believe it. this out. Another scratchy high tone. It's another it's a piece of a spoon. It's what left, what's left of it. It's not, oops. <laughs> don't do that. Becky, I don't know if you still watch my videos, but I love my man purse. Exploring Alabama Junior love is his too. So, thank you so much. I have not forgot about you. Every time I drop something in my man purse, I got, oh yeah, thanks Becky. It's a high tone. It's a real good high tone. That's why I'm letting you. It was almost too good. Remember the felt? This entire yard. I mean, the entire thing is felt. So you gotta get through the layer of felt to 
get down into the into the goods. Maybe I'm there. Let's just look. It's under the felt. Come out. I know what you're thinking. Man, dig that thing out of there and quit goofing off. Look at that. It has a piece of aluminum. Isn't it great? Aluminum's cool. You could actually shine that up and make it look new. How many things can you pull out of ground and do that with? Not many. Don't hate. I dug to the bottom of the Cracker Jack box for this. That joker was under the felt. Then about another half mile, and there it is. It is a piece of a padlock. Piece of brass, it gave a good signal though. It's amazing. I promise you this whole place, this is probably a square acre, maybe a little oblong, half an acre. And you gotta put everything back under the felt or you won't get your you don't have complete collation integrity. There. Last piece of brass though. This is really shallow. I think it's gonna be a uh, library scent. Oh, it's below the felt. I was hoping it was on top of the felt. Look at this. Breathe deep. Breathe in the goodness. Nature's, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I, about, I just about got shroom fever off that one. So it's under the felt. You know it'd be easy to date things around here if I knew when the felt was put down, wouldn't it? Let's see, I gotta straighten my camera. There we go. Get out. Oh, there's like another layer of felt down there. Oh, but I'm getting there. Hold on. Bear with me. I got it. What is it? Do we go right or left? Let's go this way. No, let's go that way. Remember that from O oh Brother Where Art Thou? He said, Alright, you decide. He said, I'm with you guys. <laughs> Don't breathe that in. We'll keep that little arrow. I accidentally hit the record button. There's really nothing right now to look at. All right, another one. There it is. This one's pretty felty. It was underneath there. Now oh, that is the end of a piece of copper pipe. It's been flared. Okay, two more holes and I gotta go. This is one of the two last ones. Let's see. Okay. This is crazy. There's more. I guess it's felt. Got to get close and gently lift. That is a wing. Huh. 
Huh. Bring up high. Let me clean it up and see what's made up. I don't know what that is. It is a wing. Just one. I don't know what it's made of either. It is heavy. Pretty interesting, huh? Last signal right here. Remember I said only one more. It's one good thing about this TRX, this white's TRX. You can get in the hole and hear it. But when you point to it, it actually finds it. Which is kind of nice. Now if you just dig it up for you and put it in your man purse. You'd be all set, right? It's right there. Somewhere. I'm going to find it in a second, I promise. Don't worry about that noise it's making. It's all part of the life. Okay, let's get this out of the hole. I didn't break it either. Just a big old hunk of brass, something or copper. It's like the end of a spoon with a hole in it. It's maybe one of those lucky spoons you used to wear around your neck when you was a little kid. That's the last one. Let's go do a wrap up and wrap this up. I got to get to the house and break the news my offspring that we have lost a kitten and the bummer is it's Geronimo's birthday so I gotta figure out how I'm gonna do that just found a situation back in my truck a little structural integrity something right there working its way out if you're curious that is a little thing off the front of my truck I went home with the bearded one yesterday there's still quite a bit of snow and everything else on the ground so the only thing I found that's pretty cool. I like lead. I like brass. I'm still unsure what that is. That's a cool spoon. Got a little Goldilocks action going on. Take these broken wings and learn to fly again. A wing. Oh yeah, that was the wheat, sir. That's the only one. That's the only coin I found, isn't it? Man, I'm in the zone today. I guess that's it, and the rest of it's stuff. My toothbrush is getting really dirty. Hey, thanks for watching my videos. Really appreciate it. Hope you have a good weekend. Part four of the day. Cupcakes. And I've got to put it on there and get it down the road without it falling off through all the traffic, then into the field. There it is. The big chocolate cupcake. Now i got to see if I can make it down the road without losing it. The hardest part is getting that off without the cows going berserko. This is where they go poo poo for cocoa puffs. And I gotta get down and take this barrel off of here. Look, you gotta move, dude. Get on, get. Go on, get, girl. Get. You gotta move, go. Cause I gotta untie this. Move, girl. Let me untie this. That one will come up and hit you in the back. This one, there's a bull in there. I gotta figure out how to tie this thing. Maybe I should go to the other side. Where's my knot? 
right here. Don't hit me, bull. I'm your friend, remember? You go on. Get. I am the hand that feeds you. Trying to get the first string off. Ha, ah, I think it's gonna fall off by itself now. Let me get in here. Can you back up a little bit, Mr. Bull? Oh, look at you with the attitude situation. Don't get mad. I got to get it off of here. Hold on, boy. Man, you better rethink it. Look, you got to move. I can't get it off. It's too heavy. Okay. Plan G. That thing weighs 200 pounds. So you can't just put one hand on it and move it. Are you going to move? Look, I got to get this off. Here. Let me get it down for you guys. There you go. There you go. Hold on, let me get it off. That's face to face with the big boy right there. That's where you don't. There you go. All right, y'all get you some flavor. We'll untie this later. See that big boy scratching behind the nose. He don't like that. All right, heading back up. They got their cupcake, they're happy. 